Hey, what is happening, folks? This is Jimmy G in the place to be, bringing you back to the good, the bad, the awesome, where we give my first reaction, unboxing, and unbiased opinion and review about all toys that were related to pop culture or anything pop culture really so if you like that stuff go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button support the channel get notified when we have new videos if you've already done that thank you and a huge shout out to every single one of my members out there you all are awesome so today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going back to where it is more than meets the eye. We're going to be heading back to 1986 when we had the touch and we had the power and we dared uh, to be stupid uh, and all that good stuff. We're going to go to Transformers the movie and we're going to go to one of those Walmart exclusive G1 retro exclusives. And it is, again, one of my favorites, which you saw a review of the original earlier. But today we're going to look at the retro remake and see if this new one one lives up to it or if it doesn't so what is that that's going to be perceptor so let's see if the nerdery lives up to the hype let's do it and here we are folks it is perceptor i'm excited about this we've done some of the transformers the movie walmart retro reissues uh before we did a hound we did hot rod we did all of the seekers and i'll put links to those down below and so then and then we did a insecticon uh was it bombshell shrapnel i don't remember which one it was uh but today we get to do Percep perceptor as y'all have heard from my previous review of perceptor this was one of those that i owned was one of my favorites i don't know why maybe because it was a micro microscope and a robot and at times i made it look like that tank form but it really doesn't look like a tank it just looked like a collapsed microphone uh but here is the original perceptor if y'all remember him da -ba -ba -ba. yeah he is beautiful and gorgeous but we got this one right now and this is the box and i love the box art on these um movie retros now this is a walmart exclusive you can either get it at walmart or on hasbro pulse it's sold out pretty pretty quick but i'm pretty sure you can still find it uh out there uh, and don't pay scalper prices for this just pay regular price but love the artwork that these boxes have there's unicron right there at the top uh it still kind of gives a little homage to the original artwork and uh, original boxes with the one two three four uh and then the back has of course his uh stats as well as a little bit about uh about what's going on here and then there's perceptor now some things are going to be different about this one versus the g1 original so we'll take a look at that we'll compare the two and i'll tell you which one i think i like better and which one maybe i don't like better or whatever it may be but let's get this guy out of the box right now And here is the little boy. He is gorgeous. He is awesome. And he doesn't feel as sturdy as the old one, but that's okay. We're going to go over him. We're going to review him, kind of look at him in depth. Again, this is my first look at him. So overall first impressions, he's pretty decent. I mean, I like the colors and things like that. I think it looks really cool. Uh, of course, his microscope part came uh, separate, but you do have, if you look, you do have the, the microscope piece right here where you can magnify what you need to right there. So that's one of the pieces that comes separate. Then you have, of course, the instructions on how to transform him. Uh, his little cannon here his other gun and then, of course, the three missiles on the pegs, just like you would get in the normal um, perceptor thing. So let me go ahead and put his microscope on and we will kind of get that where it needs to go and I think it just kind of pops on here so there's a couple little tabs and you just pop it on and there you go now he has his microscope now he looks like a nerd uh, but he's got that microscope going now and looks I mean he looks really good I like him I think he looks good he feels really good in the hands has a little Autobot logo right here uh, from a height standpoint what you're looking at is about seven and a half inches from the top of the microscope there. 
And so, uh, very nice little boy here. Uh, but let's bring him in for a closer kind of look here. We'll pull the camera up and just kind of just show you. And so some of the differences, you got the blue eyes, uh, the blue is a bit different. The red is a lighter red. This isn't chromed out. These are gray. Uh, but uh, other than that, it's pretty much the same little boy that we are used to having uh, here. Um, but let me kind of just show you from a rotisserie standpoint. There's the front this side and this side and then the back uh, but feels really good in the hands I mean if you've always wanted a perceptor but just haven't gotten the original or you just want to relive that childhood memory again this can do it I mean this is really really nice and so from an articulation standpoint you do have the movement in the arms but you also have the bend in the arms I say you had the bend but it doesn't want to bend Bend in the arms? Yes, there we go. It's a very tight, uh, very tight joint there indeed, but you do have uh, about a 90 degree bend right there on the arm. You don't have any outward, you don't have any waist twist. Uh, you do have twist here. You do have 90 degree bend there, uh, but you don't have any up, but you do have, you know, you can Jean-Claude Van Damme that if you want to. Uh, and that is about it head no swivel or anything like that too as well uh, but that is about it from an articulation standpoint but overall very nice looking i like the the overall look and the overall feel the plastic feels really good uh, the overall bot feels really good i mean it's just like g1 perceptor so speaking of g1 perceptor let's bring him in so we can look at him side by side and there they are kind of side by side there same height same everything same build, but uh, I thought this one felt heavier, but I guess not. Uh, maybe, maybe not. Uh, I don't know if this has any die cast in it, whereas this does have some die cast. It looks like this could be metal back here, but I don't know off the top of my head. Uh, but um, only one way to find out. Let me get my scale and we'll weigh them both and see if they will both weigh the same. All right, got my scale. Wanted to go ahead and put the weapons in Perceptor's hands. Let me move these guys to the side and let's bring in the scale of awesomeness here and we will pull my camera back a little bit so we can kind of see from a weight. I don't know if I can get my camera back enough, but hopefully that shows up right there. This says zero pounds. So let's start with the original. So the original weighs 6.3 ounces. And then let's bring in the remake. 6.4, so yeah, about the same. So I guess they're made about the same material and things like that. And so this scientific scale tells us all. And so that is all we need to know about that. But there we go. Let's bring them back in close together. And let's bring that back up, the camera so to speak. And then let's bring in one more little guy here. This is the Studio uh, Series perceptor uh, and you can kind of see uh, as we look at them all you can kind of see the colors more are in line here the red here is a little bit more uh, like a muted red whereas this is a full blooded red here this is a dark red right there blues kind of pretty much match this is like a turquoise right there doesn't have any of the stickers but I believe you could probably get the stickers and if you want to put stickers on them you can uh, but I do like how they kind of did the outline right here um, wish it did have some of the the little details uh, so like the other one has so if you look to the side of each of these here you kind of see these so i guess if you want to you can get the stickers for it if you'd like uh if not you don't have to do that but let's just kind of just show you here just with the the other big difference yellow eyes versus blue eyes got an autobot symbol here no autobot symbol there but the autobot symbol is on the top of the microphone microphone microscope uh their weapons uh again just a little bit different there too as well what's interesting is the red on this rocket probably would match this one better than the red right here uh so that's kind of cool uh but uh that is him in a nutshell so let's see if i remember correctly how to transform this guy and we'll pull this stuff off here and let's bring the camera kind of back over here where we were at and so i believe 
I don't remember off the top of my head. I believe these come down. And I believe these, the fists go up like this. Uh, and then the head, it does scoot down. And then this kind of, let's see here. It, uh, but, 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 give me just a second. Let me try this again. Boop, 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 boop. I'm going to have to refresh myself with the instructions. I don't remember. Jimmy's short-term memory. I can hide my own Easter eggs, folks. That's how bad my memory is sometimes. Let's get his head back up there. Let me take a look at the instructions really quick, and I'll be right back. All right, that's what I thought, folks. I, you know, a little bozo, bozo Jimmy here every now and then. Uh, he'll figure it out figure out what he's supposed to do. And so what we want to do here, let's get his fist in. Let's bring his head down. The legs want to kind of come out like so. And we want to bring this down. Go ahead and bring that down. And then you want to turn said legs to where they are like this. See? Turn the same thing on this other side. Second verse, same as the first. And then twist that in or out, or however you want to twist it. Um, there we go. And so that is down like it should be, kind of, sort of. It's, you know, wonky a little bit some there. Uh, and then this comes up like so. And then the arms pop up and pop in. And there you go. We've got microphone, microphone, microscope mode for Perceptor. There it is. And it is, again, just like you would transform the original one uh, as well. So this is how it looks. Get everything kind of straightened up a little bit. That's always the fun part of these transformers. But yep, there it is, just like it, just like the good old days of Perceptor. Uh, just basically a basic microphone on that set so, microphone. Why do I keep saying microphone? Uh, microscope scope is that. And so from a height standpoint, uh, what you're looking at, again, about six inches from the top of the microscope. Uh, but if we bring it in a little bit closer, you can kind of get a good look at it. But very simple, very easy to transform. Um, about, I wouldn't say six easy steps, but there's it's just easy steps to get him where he needs to go uh, on that. Uh, for, I, I won't transform the original. The original looks the same. Well, actually, I will transform the original. So let's bring the original in. Let's go ahead and give him the, the business. Take the weapons out. Put his fist back in. Fists. Fist back in. Head down. Let's bring that just up. Let's bring that down. We'll bring these arms up already. Make that a lot easier. Legs come like so. Boom. Legs come like so. Boom. Boom. And there we go. We have the two in microscope mode. I almost said microphone again. Um, this one's a little bit loose just because it's older. It's a old toy. Uh, but which one do you all like better? Do you like it better with the chrome or with the gray? Do you like it better with the turquoise or the light blue? I think these are going to be more cartoon accurate. This is the toy accurate. Both of them will give you the same retro feel that you've ever had with, uh, with Perceptor. Uh, but it honestly comes down to your personal preference on what you would like out of your Perceptor. Uh, so let's get back together. Let's talk through some of my final thoughts on this little guy. Now let's talk through my final thoughts on Transformers Walmart exclusive G1 Retro Transformers the movie Perceptor. And here he is. Do love that little Autobot logo there. Wish I had one up here, but I'm sure I can get the Toy Hack stickers or something like that. Forgot to show you this. Boop. Yep. It is a working microscope. I wish I could show you uh, how it works. It's not like a scientific, you know, microscope where you're going to find, you know, all the bacteria in the world, but it does work. Uh, has the same weight, same height, same everything about the original Perceptor except different colors. The lighter blue, the red is lighter, and then of course the blue 
eyes there. And so let me bring in the original and so you can kind of see both of them side by side. And so which one do you prefer? Let me hold him down where I was holding the other one. Do you prefer the, the remake or the original? Remake, original, remake, original. Um, I like them both. I don't... I always default to the original because it's the one I had as a kid. But if I was not able to get this at a good price or a good deal, this would be an amazing substitute. This this right here is a really good faithful recreation, re, re, re make of the mold that they used for this. I mean, exact same mold. And um, what's cool is like, if you find some repro labels, you can put all those labels on this one. And I think it would look just fine. It looked just perfect. Um, and so that's what I may do. I may get some of the toy hacks labels and things like that. So that way I can put all that on there. Uh, but overall between the two, it's a toss up for me. I'd be happy with either, but, uh, since I got the original, the original always wins for me. Uh, but this one's good too. So if you don't have the original, go with this one. If you do have the original, the only reason you'd need this one is if you were a completionist and you need to have everything. Uh, but uh, you don't need it. You, you don't need, do we really ever need this stuff? We just want this stuff. But on a scale of good, bad, awesome, this is a retroactively retro awesome figure. It does the tank mode, it does all the different modes. It looks great, the joints feel really good. Um, the only thing I wish it had, I wish it did have the chrome instead of the gray, but some people might like that gray better because it just doesn't show off the fingerprints and it doesn't rub and wear uh, like the chrome does. But overall, very, very, very nice spots. Perceptor, Perceptor. Which one should I keep in microphone? Microphone. I keep saying microphone. Which one should I keep in microscope mode? Which one should I keep in robot mode? Which one would you do? Don't know. It's a tough decision, uh, but we'll see which way I decide to lean. But that's all I got to say about these guys. I'm so glad I got them. Can't wait to review uh, this guy for you. So the last of my retro movie ones until they release more. Good old, good old kickback there. So I can't wait to review that for y'all. may come up in the next one. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But you know what? Thank you for watching. Thank you for all y'all do. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for all that good stuff. So in the meantime, y'all remember that you got the touch. You got the power, and I can't see. Y'all, stay young, have fun, be awesome. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye now.